Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here with a season interview episode of Mac Money. So we just finished the 2018 season for Mac Money on his Road to the Show journey, and it is going pretty well. We made the playoffs for the first time since he's been in the MLB and the first time since he's been on the Braves. And we are going to be going against the Pirates in the NLCS. But uh, before we get into that, this isn't so much a playoff preview. There's a couple of things, but uh, I really just want to go over the season Mac Money had in general. First off, let's look at the standings. Braves obviously clinched a playoff spot. 98 and 64 was their record, just barely beating out the Nationals, who did not even win the wild card game, which is very important, which shows you how important that last game of the season is because you don't want to go to that wild card game. And it's a good thing that we had home field advantage. You see, we're pretty high up, we're second overall and top five in everything but one category. Uh, Mac himself, 99 overall, and, and there's really a difference between a good 99 overall and a great 99 overall. So his his attributes are amazing. 90, uh, 98 contact versus right-handed pitchers, 97 versus left, 97 power versus right, 94 power versus left, and just fielding is good, arm strength, arm accuracy, all those things are really good. And that just, it goes into here. So. We look at the year 2015, it was his first year in the league, just about a half of a year. He did decent, uh, but then the first career year just came in his first full year at the White Sox in uh, his first full season. In 630 at-bats, he had 201 hits, 35 homers, 108 RBIs, and hit for three, uh, 319 average, which is really good. Last year, which was his first year with the Braves, did not do so good. Wasn't a very good season, but then this year is his career year. In less at-bats, he had... More hits, career high in hits, 213, career high in home runs by 2, 37, and career um, RBIs with 128, 20 more, and he also hit 345. So this guy is just, he's an absolute monster. And the, the best part for the Braves is that they're only paying him a, mil a million dollars a year. Um, and that sounds like a lot, but for sports, it's not a lot. And he has it set up so that when his contract expires, he'll be eligible for free agency as he has three years left and he has three years of MLB service. So when that's over, he'll have six years and he can go to free agency. Whether we'll do that, we don't know, but we will see. You can see the Braves roster right here. Mac is on the top. Justin Upton, 96. Craig Kimbrell, 95. Julio Tehran, 91. All eight potentials. Um, but the best part is he's, Mac is only 22. He's only 22 years old, and he's a 99 overall. That is ridiculous. That's like Mike Trout level. So he's hitting third in the lineup. Um, this is kind of like the playoff preview right here. Um, him and Justin Upton are that force to be reckoned with. Even Austin Jackson there in uh, center is not bad. So they have a really good outfield. Obviously, Simmons at short. They don't have Freddie Freeman anymore at first, and they have a pretty good bench, too. Here's their uh, pitching rotation here. Julio Teheran's the top. Matt Cain, not bad. And then we got Jotar, Ryu, and G, so that's not bad. Um, and looking over to the bullpen, David Phelps, Beltre, Avion, McFarlane, Martinez, Walden, and Kimbrel. Obviously, Kimbrel, the head man over there, but... Uh, Beltre, Avilan, and Martinez are pretty good relievers, so they're in good shape here. And now we get to the awards. He won so many awards, guys. Not even funny. He won the MVP of the whole season, which is awesome. Like I said, he hit 345 with 37 homers and 128 RBIs. You need to have good defense and good offense. He had both. Uh, batting title, pretty much MVP without the defense. Again, 345 with 37 homers and 128 RBIs. Just really dominating, especially on the offensive side for Mac Money. The next award is the Hank Aaron Award, and it's basically the top hitter. It's it's basically like the batting title. I, I don't know why they have two different ones. I've always wondered that, but it's basically the same thing. Again, just dominating offensively with the average home runs and RBIs. Next award, we go defense. Gold Glove is all about defense. You can see his fielding percentage was 991, and he had 13 assists. I'm not sure what PO means. Does that mean... Um, Popouts, or I'm not sure what PO means. If you know, let me know. But uh, he had 333 of those. Next up, we go Silver Slugger. They gave out three of these for each outfielder, and he got one of them. It's basically the opposite of the Gold Glove. It's all about offense. Same with Batting Title, Hank Aaron Award, and the MVP. Again, with the RBIs, home runs, and average. So he's just really dominating. And I just decided to take a look at this as a little career stat versus these teams. And you see, he's doing really good against the A's, the Mets. Um, the Tigers, Royals, Marlins, all those teams with like around 25 to 30 games. The average is high. He has not faced two teams. The Braves, because he's on them, and then when he was on the White Sox, he didn't face the Braves. And the White Sox. We have not faced our old team yet. I just realized that. Maybe we'll do that next year. Maybe we will, because it'll be kind of cool to return to Chicago um, being a former White Sox. Um, here are the achievements. You can look at them. We led the league in um, base plus slugging, slugging percentage, runs. We won MVP, batting title, all those awards. 
Uh, we led the league in batting average, RBIs, triples, doubles. We won the division title. We made it to the postseason. We made it to the all-star game as a starter. And you can see the Hall of Fame potential right there is pretty high. So that's going to do it for the uh, regular season review of Mac Money because I just felt that this needed its own video. It wasn't too long. It was just sweet but short. Um, and it was just the way he played was just so phenomenal. It just deserved his own video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And next episode of Mac Money will be in the playoffs against the Pirates. Until then, guys, make sure to subscribe, like the video. Peace.